Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to put up a colocasia bulb and some cannas after storing them over the winter. My cannas got to about seven feet tall in a pot last summer and this year I'm going to plant them in the ground. I also wanted to show you some new plants that I've got and some improvements that I am making to my tropical garden, which I'm hoping to finish this year. Here is my huge Colocasia esculenta bulb that I stored over the winter. Originally it was labelled up as a Thailand giant but I've since realised that it is actually an esculenta. I'll also link my overwintering video for you below. So I checked on the bulb back in March and it was in a paper bag in a dark cupboard but I noticed that it actually started to produce a new shoot. So I thought right I'm going to pot it up. Here I'm just temporarily putting it up until it's warm enough outside to plant it in the ground. My colocasia grew really huge last year and it was in a pot, so this year I'm hoping it grows even bigger in the ground. I'm hopefully going to plant it out in the garden probably late May I would say, or maybe the beginning of June depending on the weather. So here I'm just using a mix of compost, John Inns number no. 3 and perlite and I'm just going to give it a tiny bit of water. Here you can see the growth of the colocasia over the course of four weeks. They grow extremely fast, which is one of the things I absolutely love about this plant. Here it is at four weeks and you can see how big it's grown already. You can see a new leaf popping up there on the side. This should be the third leaf but I actually cut off the first one as it was looking a little bit tatty. So next I'm going to be potting up my canna bulbs. I stored some of them over winter from last year and then I purchased some more rhizomes. Actually since purchasing these rhizomes I've learnt a lot about cannavirus and I realised that most of the imported bulbs or rhizomes will probably have the cannavirus and sometimes you can't tell until the plants got quite big but now I know exactly what to look out for and I actually ended up disposing of these cannas because I could tell as soon as the shoots were coming up that they actually had the virus. So I went and purchased five cannas from Heart Canner in the UK and they're all grown in the UK and they're already shooting when they send them to you and you know they're virus free. So I would never purchase cannas anywhere but Heart Canner now and they are very highly recommended. I found them on a Facebook tropical gardening group. So the majority of my cannas are going to be planted in the ground this summer and then mulched over in the winter and then hopefully they'll come back next spring, summer. It's funny because the rhizomes that I actually dug out of the pot that I had them in last summer, I must have missed a few because they started reshooting this month. So I think they'll be fine in the ground. Here are some plants that I've picked up recently. Some lovely passifloras and a hibiscus. and my awesome black bamboo. It's really tall, I love it. Canes are absolutely beautiful in this colour. Here's some other plants that I've picked up. I got this um, cordyline. He was in the clearance section, half price. Looks a little bit rustic, but 
needs a bit of TLC and this stunning Schaeffleira Taiwaniana, I think it's called, a bit of a mouthful. These are winter hardy here in the UK. You can just see there, there's a little bit of new growth starting to come out. Another cordial line there. This is my banana from last year. I just overwintered him in the shed. And then I picked up a few grasses in different colors. I absolutely love this time of year because everything's starting to regrow. New leaves, flowers, so pretty. I absolutely love these red leaves on the photinias. My fatsias did okay over winter. Even my variegated ones are fine. Just wanted to show you my camellias in flower because they are absolutely stunning. buds started forming I think it was in February so it was quite early and they should flower for quite a few months hydrangea is just starting to come back to life My beautiful spider's web fatsia. Some new growth there. Here's my other camellia. I'm not quite sure which variety this one is because the name was rubbed off the tag, so I, I'm not sure. If anyone knows, leave a comment below. my other variegated fatsia and that's doing really well. These are meant to be less hardy than the standard fatsia japonica but actually I feel like my variegated ones have done better than my standard ones. Here's the new border that I've just had put in. I'm so excited to put some plants in it and get my garden looking even more jungly this year and tropical. So here we are, here's some of the plants that I've put in so far and there are gaps around the plants because I'm going to be putting some cannas in. This is a new banana that I just picked up, it's a bit bigger than my other one. And that big barrel pot there, that's going to be for my gunnera, which I'll show you in a moment. my baby gunnera. I've never had one before and I'm really excited but he's going to be going in the larger pot and then I've also got a, a plastic saucer to put underneath to make sure that the, the soil stays really moist because they like really boggy conditions and then maybe I'll upgrade him to a bigger pot next year. You can see my passiflora is there at the back. Also picked up a couple of palms. And here is my absolutely beautiful Trachycarpus Wagnerianus. I've wanted one of these for so long. I got him from the palm tree company. I love his furry trunk. I've put some fairy lights around him. 
beautiful dark green leaves. Heaps of new growth as you can see from the plants over the last couple of weeks since I last filmed. And I've potted up my Gunnera in his new pot. I'm really excited to see how big it gets. I know it won't get quite as big in a pot as it would do if it was in the ground, but still excited. My bananas have been wrapped up um, for the last five nights because it's been um, frosty here. So I'm just trying to protect them a bit. Hopefully from the beginning of next week the temperatures look like they're going back up again so I can uncover everything. Can't wait to plant my cannas. Oh this is a honeysuckle. Excuse the bin bags, I've just been trying to protect them from the frost at night. So that's about it for my garden update and once everything is flowering and the weather's good, I'm going to go around and do another tropical garden tour for you. I'm also uncovering my bar and patio furniture tomorrow which is really exciting and I cannot wait to spend the summer out here in the garden. If you haven't seen my tropical tiki garden tour from last year have a little look. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you found the video useful and inspiring and I'll see you all soon. Take care everybody, bye!